Y'all remember the earthquake five ton splitter that I did a short video on? Well, uh, it failed. I used it like three times, uh, just short periods. And then it quit starting, the motor wouldn't start. It kept kicking its own little breaker off. So uh, I called the people. Um, I followed all the little troubleshooting things in the manual, including, you know, uh, checking the hydraulic fluid and making sure that there's nothing obstructing it and my uh, fuse box which is behind me up here making sure that I have it plugged into a 20 amp circuit because according to them uh, on startup it pulls 18 amps and uh, 15 amps continuous well all my breakers are 20 amps and I've never kicked them I mean I run a welder in here so I went ahead and I changed the breaker out to a 40, 40 uh, amp breaker and uh, still wouldn't work, wouldn't even turn on and uh, they told me to box it up, box it up and mail it to them in Wisconsin and they would repair it, a hundred pounds. So they would pay for the shipping in return and I had to pay for the shipping uh, to them. And the only reason is I could not find my receipt. Uh, tore this house apart looking for the receipt. Anyway, I called Tractor Supply and I told them I can't find the receipt. It stopped working. You know, I was pretty happy with it and then it just quit working. I only had it a month. And she said, the manager of uh, Tractor Supply in Minden, I'm really starting to like them folks, man. They've been really good to me. Anyway, uh, you know, a while back I did a video about them not feeding their chickens and now I'm kind of wishing I had because uh, I did not want to cause other people trouble. I just wanted to give them, uh, I just wanted them to give the chickens water. It wasn't food, it was water. And it wasn't the manager I had a problem with, it was one of the smart ass people that I said, hey, your chickens are out of water and they were out of water hours ago when I came in here and they're still out of water. I mean, you got to give chickens water or they're going to die. And she got real smart with me, so I did a video and I put it up and it caused a lot of trouble uh, for them and for me. So I ended up taking that video down. And uh, now I wish I, I hadn't, because the manager, who actually had nothing to do with that, is a very nice person. And uh, she's really been good to me when uh, she didn't need to as far as taking returns and stuff. So anyway, she took this back and she gave me another brand and we're going to go out and look at it here in a minute. And I am, uh, it's twice the the unit that the earthquake was and I kind of suspect that they're going to stop selling the earthquake unit because it's really, uh, it's the same price but it's it's half the, the unit this, this new one is. And the new one is made by Speco, S-P-E-E-C-O, five ton. And it doesn't have the uh, breaker built in, which was the problem. Uh, you'd plug it in and push the button for the motor, and their own breaker would cut off almost instantly. So it doesn't have that. And what I like even more is the motor constantly runs. Once the motor starts, it stays running. On the earthquake, you had to press a button on the motor and hold it, and then pull the lever to split it. So you couldn't hold the log on there. You had It took two hands to make it operate. So I'm liking this a lot more and I've already split a bunch of wood with it and uh, I picked up some of the wood that I tried to split with that old one, the earthquake, that, that it wouldn't split and this one popped it right open. So it's already uh, a much stronger unit. Alright, I'm going to finish my coffee and take you out there and we'll have a look at it. Okay, this log is one that the earthquake wouldn't even touch so I just pitched it to the side. Uh, they say that nine inches is maximum in diameter, and this, <laughs> this is 14 inches. So, uh, let's give it a try.
Good Lord. Tell you what, this uh, this is twice the unit that earthquake was, and uh, man, I hope I didn't steer anybody wrong on that. It turned out to be a uh, well, not a piece of junk, but nowhere near the the power that this has. Uh, I've already split several on here that the earthquake wouldn't touch. So I'm gonna get to splitting. I got a lot of wood to split and uh, and move and stack. So, uh, thanks for watching. All right, I have got all the some of them logs I had to uh, cut in half. They were just too long. Uh, they're too long to fit on my stove, and they're too long to fit in that. That's 19 inch length maximum, and any longer than that, it wouldn't fit on my stove anyway. So, uh, I am very happy with that amount of wood. That is about 45 minutes worth of splitting. Not counting the time I had to take out to uh, cut the logs in half, but I am uh, very happy with that. Minimal amount of effort and a fourth of the time it would take to split it by hand, maybe a little more or a less actually. <laughs> so this has the, the official BC truck stamp of approval. It's twice the unit the other one is. So, God, I hope any, anybody who watched that one about the earthquake, I hope they didn't go and buy it based on my preliminary tests. I've given this one uh, a whole lot of uh, working out here. And uh, it has passed it with flying colors. I'm very satisfied with this. I definitely give it the thumbs up. All right. I'm going to drink another cup of coffee and stack all this up inside my shop. And then, next time I come out here, all this wood, I got to split and I'm stacking it up down there. And then, I'll go get a couple more cords of wood to put down here. This is where it'll dry. So, let's get a cup of coffee and then I'll get that picked up. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I uh, put a hose reel here 
I think I told you that I run, uh, I got rid of my little, little bitty compressor that I used to keep here, and I run a hose from my big compressor down here, and I just bought a hose reel yesterday, and I got a, I got to get a bushing. <laughs> this, uh, where is it? There we go. That's too big. That won't fit in there. So uh, I'm either going to get another hose with a smaller end or get a bushing for that. But I got it. It's bolted up. I've got the, the hose hooked in here. And that's going to be really handy. Oh, jeez. All right. Now, back to work.